Ford has been more willing than most of its competitors to infuse its big trucks and SUVs with new school ideas. It led the industry in shifting pickup trucks and SUVs from V8 power to downsized, turbocharged V6S. It reduced the mass of its F-Series pickups with the first ever bodies made from aluminum. It was an early adopter of independent rear suspensions for its big SUVs, a move that improved third row comfort and ride quality at the same time. How would Ford's new school thinking play out in the first all-new expedition in 11 years? Ford held to the old school, big SUV blueprint by again basing the expedition on a heavy, truck-type steel frame, but, as with the F-150, the new model has been pushed further toward modernity with an aluminum body. The lighter bodywork has helped slim the top spec, four-wheel drive Expedition Platinum by 238 pounds compared with the last generation Platinum we tested, even as the new truck has grown 4 inches in length. The old Expedition already benefited from the third row space advantage of an independent rear suspension, which allows a flat floor all the way to the rear. And the previous Expedition switched to a twin turbocharged 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 back in 2015. Both of those features are carried forward, although the V6 now is based on the latest version of that engine that powers the F-150 and the new Lincoln Navigator. In Expedition Platinum guys it makes 400 horsepower and 480 lbft of torque, improvements of 35 horses and 60 lbft over last year's model. The XLT and Limited models get the same 375 HP, 470 lb foot output as in the F-150. Bolted to the Torquey V6 is another leading edge component. A new 10-speed automatic co-developed with General Motors. Expeditions with four-wheel drive can tow up to 9,200 pounds.